Hey, good morning guys, it's Mary. I'm here with breakfast. And I just sat and I just sat here for seven minutes talking about nothing to myself without recording. So now I really don't have anything. <laughs> no, I really don't have anything to say. Well, what did I say? This is probably this is what I said. Hang on. Let me rewind. Um <coughs> uh, one I don't I still don't feel good guys. And I'm I'm not probably gonna drink my breakfast shake yet. But I hopped on here to let you guys I probably let you guys finish a sentence, Mary. Finish a sentence. Good morning. How are you this morning? I'm a little bit under the weather. I wear a CPAP machine. I wear a I use a CPAP. I can't sleep without it. Doctor's orders. My CPAP number for you guys who have sleep apnea, my number is 120, which means when I don't wear a mask, when they tested me, I stopped breathing on average 120 times an hour. So two times a second. Yeah. No. Two times a minute. This, I'm not. This is, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. So this is my breakfast. I don't feel good. I think I'm just going to rest today. I'm going to go pick up my chillins and drop them off at school. I'm going to apologize for yesterday not being able to find the keys and come home and go to sleep. And then I'm going to get up, go pick up kids, take them home. And then I'm going to come home and go to sleep. <laughs> that sounds like an absolutely fabulous day, darling. Yes. Somebody asked me in the comments in my other channel if I watched Twisted Gypsy. I can never remember her name. The one that goes, ah! I can't do it. Oh, I didn't do it justice because I love her. But they asked me if I watched her because I guess she says fabulous a lot. No, darling. I think I came out of the womb saying absolutely fabulous. <laughs> no, there's, I've explained this on my other channel. There's a show, um, I think it's from Britain. I think it's a British show. Absolutely fabulous is the name of it. Joanna Wardsley? Joanna. <gasps> Oh, Joanna. Oh, I'm so sorry. She's so amazing and I cannot. Joanna Mumslumsley. Lumsley? Joanna. Yes, darling. I love Chanel. What is her name? And you know who I'm talking about? She's absolutely fabulous. I love her. But yeah, no. I'm not somebody, I don't think, who mimics other people. I don't know. Do I? I don't know. I think there's, I think I'm a one and only. Thank God. <laughs> I don't think the world can handle two of me. <laughs> I don't think I've ever met anybody like me. But I think that's the case for all of us, isn't it? Aren't we all just individuals, unique? I think that's the one nice thing, guys, about getting older. Is you're almost liberated from that feeling of having to be a cookie cutter and be just like everybody else and yeah well, maybe it's a change in times is it because I see my young kids and you know in the 80s we all dressed alike well I, I don't know if I dressed like everybody else there was a girl in my class who I guess you would have called a punk how she dressed she was amazing she was amazing. I always looked up to her because I went to a very small, kind of snobbish, I would say a little bit, school. Uh, they, you know, I, I, it was a good school to go to, honestly. I can't complain about the high school I went to. I don't remember a lot of bullying. I don't remember. I mean, I was picked on because I was the fattest kid in class. But it wasn't anything unbearable. You know, nobody was horribly mean to me. I did get hit 
I got punched by two guys when I was in high school and I don't know why. I was walking around, I was in a hallway by myself one time and a football player and this other kid who I thought we were kind of friends, I guess. I mean, he always picked on me, but I thought it was in a joking way. When I walked around the corner, they walked around the other, you know, we met kind of in the corner and the diseases were not little. And I was not that big. I was like five foot tall, probably. And I probably weighed around 170 pounds, 100, maybe 180 in high school at this time. And I was carrying books and I can't remember something about, they said something to me. I think they were trying to get a rise out of me. And when they couldn't get a rise out of me, each of them punched me. And the one was a football player. I remember the one had like, they had done like body fat measure, BMI. Is that what it is? And his was like 3% or some kind of crazy crap. Yeah. And this dude punched me for no reason in the shoulder. But it hurt. I went to the principal. <laughs> I told on them. But you know, I told on them because it actually scared me because I was so confused. I didn't understand. Why would these boys hit anybody, let alone a girl by herself when there were two of them with no provo pro provocation? I didn't do anything to them. I just existed. And apparently just my simple existence that day was enough to make them mad, to, mad enough to, to physically assault me. I'm not, I think I was a sophomore maybe. A freshman? Yeah. That was the most messed up thing in school that happened to me in high school. I didn't get in a lot of fights in high school. Never started one. Ever. I don't think I've ever started a fight. My mom always said, you never start a fight, young lady, but you better finish it. Never throw the first punch, but you better throw the last. Yes, mama. <laughs> but I should be drinking this, and I just don't think I can, guys. So I guess my breakfast this morning is air. It's 6.30. Is that right? So I have to leave here in a few minutes. Yeah, I don't know what my stomach really is. I don't know. I'll get there, guys. I'll get there, guys. I really thought stopping the Munjaro would stop all this, but I guess that was wishful thinking. Um, someone had asked me about a gluten-free diet. And you know what? I was on something. Right, real quick explanation. And, and don't quote me because, yeah. Um, I was on something call, called what I believe was a low FOD. F-O-D. Low FODMAP diet. And I had started it trying to tolerate the diabetic injections I was on. I think maybe I was on Ozempic. That was a hard one. That was a hard one. Monjaro is a fairy ride compared to Ozempic. Man, that one was hard. But, um, a, you avoid foods that ferment in your belly. Does that make sense? And it was gluten-free, dairy-free, low fat and you know what I felt amazing on it but it's expensive like it's expensive expensive maybe if I I should look into that yeah maybe I should do a low FODMAP diet for a little while if I eat sparingly and I'm really careful with my money I could probably do it so if you have gut health issues look into low FODMAP because there's something about food fermenting in the digestive system and I am not a trained medical professional obviously my, my videos would be much more <laughs> well put together if I was a trained medical professional but yeah if you're having the kind of gut problems I'm having look up a low FODMAP diet I think Julie is the one is it Julie she messages me all the time and I love her. She's so sweet. She has, her last name starts with a K. Yeah, it was Julie, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that recommended a uh, gluten-free diet. And you know what? I had said 
nay, but maybe, I think maybe I'm gonna look into the low FODMAP diet and then you guys can follow it with me and see, like I said, it was a little bit more expensive. And it is a little bit hard to follow because there's a lot of restrictions, a lot. But I think I have stuff, oh, by the way, I don't like Greek, I don't like the yogurt. Remember I said I was gonna try a yogurt last night? I'm dedicated, but not zero Greek yogurt, zero sugar, zero. I'm not that dedicated. <laughs> I can't. Not gonna do it. <laughs> to quote George Bush. <laughs> oh, if you're if you're in your fifties or older, you get that. Sorry, Night Live. Not gonna do it. Dana Carvey was that his name? He was so hilarious. The 80s had some rough times with SNL, but they had some fabulous, not like the 70s, y'all. Yes, I remember Jim Belushi, John Belushi, James, Jim, John. Which one's the brother that, that passed away? He was hilarious. I remember watching Belushi and Aykroyd and Chevy Chase and Will, Will the, ah, the blonde curly haired and then the operator, remember? One ringing a, two ringing a, do you remember what I'm talking about? Y'all, if you're young and you didn't see episodes of SNL from the 70s, look them up. Hilarious. Hilarious. This video is at 12 minutes and it's 6.34. I've got to go pick up youngins. And yeah. Um, cheers. Cheers. These will have to go if I go low FODMAP because it's non-dairy. Are these dairy? I don't know. Yeah. If you're having problem, gut problems, look up low FODMAP. Maybe we'll do it together. Yeah. So I'm gonna go pick up chillins. And then I'm gonna come home and go to bed. And I probably will not see y'all till tomorrow. So peace, love, and happiness. Stay you, stay blessed. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have an amazing day. Bye.